Berkey, not far from the start of the of the new season proper, there seems to be a fresh feel inevitably with so many new players and coaches coming in. Yeah, it's felt like kind of first day at school for a lot of the guys really. I think I haven't known many people and it's been um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun getting to know the guys and uh, training incredibly hard. You know, I think it's the fittest we've probably ever been. Um, new regime, everything's very new. Obviously the same training grounds, you know, same kind of kit, etc. But the feel about it's all very new and it's all very positive. Looking, I'm very much excited. Yeah. And a big bonus from your point of view, you didn't have to go to Poland this year. Yeah, that's a plus. So <laughs> I was almost going to chalk up trip number 13, I think. So I was quite happy that that, that didn't materialise. So you must qualify for thousands of pole miles. Yeah. Uh, yes, on uh, was it? Air, Air Polak, which, which I would <laughs> lot. a lot here. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy that. When Dai Young appeared here, arrived here, one of the things he said was it was noticeable how disappointed, frustrated, angry the experienced players were at how badly last season went. So that's obviously great motivation. Have you managed to instill that in the new players as well? I think so, yeah. Um, you know, although you know it's a new, new kind of regime, new feel. The, cl the guys who have come in, you know, they realise that this club's got a lot of ambition, and we don't accept anything less than you know winning stuff and at least competing. So that's what was so incredibly frustrating last year that we were nowhere near even competing, and we weren't, you know, didn't even give ourselves a chance. So they're all, they all, they're all very aware of that fact and um, buying into it. And like I said, training so, so hard, and, and the guys are incredibly fit and, and look really, really keen. And I think. We, uh, I think we should uh, surprise a few people. I think one thing that was pointed out a lot last season was, was that our attack was rather predictable. Clearly, Paul Turner has got his own views on how attacking rugby should be played. Is, is that having an impact so far, do you think? I think so, yeah. It, it's, it's lovely to have you know, a lot of time dedicated to attack and really, really working the hands and making sure that, that we're slick and we're actually running onto the ball at pace and, you know, with giving ourselves every chance to break through the, the line so that's been that's been positive um, obviously defense is always, always a big emphasis for us as well so we're not neglecting that but um yeah it's, it's great having that that uh, attacking edge well you're in the side to play munster this week and you're one of the heroes of uh, lansdowne road 2004 what memories do you have of that great great game Quite a long time ago, but um, I remember that the crowd was just the most amazing crowd I've ever played in front of. Um, to this day, I think it's still, you know, probably top two highlights definitely of my career. So, you know, I can't wait. It's obviously we're not playing in in at Lansdowne Road or even in Limerick this time, but um, yeah, I'm sure the atmosphere will be something something to behold. I'm told a little bird has told me that you do a passable impersonation of Anthony Foley. Is that right? Um, it's been <laughs> it's been mentioned something like uh, nobody meets the monster at home. <laughs> Very good. <Yeah. laughs> Are we going to see that in any of your benefit dues this year? Uh, probably not. No, I think we'll leave that one on the sideline. You and Harty, of course, sharing a benefit. Uh, what sort of things have you got coming up? Yeah, the committee are doing a great job. They're um, they're putting together a program touch tournament actually next week, though a week today. Uh, then there's a business breakfast coming up on the 9th of September. I think they're organising, and then the main dinner, um, which uh, we're looking to do at the end of March, at the end of the Six Nations. So uh, it's exciting. I mean, you know, they're putting a lot of work in, and um, and it's going to raise a lot of money for the charities Tour Aid and Born Too Soon. And it's you know it's exciting. It's basically just about celebrating my career, Harty's career. Um, because it's been, it's been a long time. You don't look as old as you must be. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I've got a dedicated beauty regime which keeps me looking very, very uh, young and beautiful. Back to the serious bit. On the field, what for you would constitute a successful season for Wasps? What would constitute a disappointing season? Um, I think that the you know, the target for us, you know, a lot of fans would love us to say, oh, we're, we're going to be wanting to get silverware straight away. But it's you know, you've got to recognise that we're still, although it's been incredibly positive on the on the pitch and in pre-season, we're still very much building uh, you know another side. And it's although it's looking very very positive at the moment, I think the target has got to be just to get back top six and get into Europe for next year. That's that's the key ambition I think. Anything more than that is a bonus. You know, it really really is.